Hey guys, this is Swarzide bringing you my first let's play on this channel, Pokemon Silver. Uh, we'll just watch the little cutscene because it's kind of funny. And the music is awesome. I had originally intended to start my let's playing on this channel with The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker. But unfortunately I found out that my computer is not compatible with my capture card. However, my little brother is getting a nice new computer sometime soon. And as soon as that happens, maybe we can get some other Let's Plays going of stuff off my Wii. Anyways, let's get moving here. And we'll set the options first. I want fast tech speed and that's what I want to change start a new game oh we're waking up and what time is it I'm going to set it to night because there's something I want sure we'll go 8 o'clock you can change the time if you're playing gold and silver just with a little bit of information um, I will probably do that at some point, because I probably will want to find Pokemon that I'm not at a good time to record for. Anyways, this is Professor Oak saying this world is inhabited by creatures that we all call Pokemon. People in Pokemon live together by supporting each other. Some people play with Pokemon, some battle with them. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to, be, to solve. That's why I study Pokemon every day. Now, what did you say your name was? Alright, and... I do not have enough space for my username, so I'm just going to go with my actual name of Brad. And I am also working on a project over at channel BS Productions. I didn't make the name. Um, with my friend Quasi over there, and we are currently doing a joint Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow. I've appeared in one episode so far, but uh, check that out. I will hopefully help more along the line. And Professor Elm was looking for us. He said he wanted us to do something for him. And our Pokemon gear is back from the repair shop. Why, thank you, Mom. Why did they need to be repaired? Did I break it? It's absolutely essential. What day of the week is it? It is currently Wednesday. Because that's the day I have free time. <laughs> um, it is not daylight savings time. 8.01. Uh, I do. It doesn't matter. If you say yes, she just explains it to herself. No, she explains it to you. So let's make her talk to herself. Okay. Cue more epic starting music. We are in Newbark Town. And we have a sign that says it's my house. So my mom means nothing. Ha. Huh. We are in Newbark Town. The town where the winds of a new wind blow. I wonder what that means for us. And there's this guy. Hello. This is the... F Why are you talking to yourself? I didn't do anything. Ow! Well, that was rude. Uh, anyways, he said this was a lab, right? Yep. So, Professor Elm was looking for us. And auto walk! Brad, there you are. I needed to ask you a favor. I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It is intriguing, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Could you look into it for us? I'll give you a Pokemon for a partner. They're all rare Pokemon that we just found. Go on, pick one. Alright, as all Pokemon games, or at least all main Pokemon games, you will get a choice from three Pokemon, one of which is fire, one of which is water, and one of which is grass. Uh, let's see. The grass type is Chikorita. Chikorita is a very defensive Pokemon. 
it will have a very hard time with this game. I'm just letting you know that. It is bad against the first two gyms, and it is very hard to raise because its attacking stats are not the greatest. They're still pretty good, but they're not the greatest. Uh, next is Cyndaquil, who is the easiest way to go uh, for two reasons. One, he evolves first out of all the starters. Second, he is not at the disadvantage against the first gym, and he has a major advantage against the second. And I don't want Cyndaquil, because that's too easy. And the third is Totodile, who is the middle of the road choice, and he's neither good nor bad against neither, either of the first two gyms. And I don't want Totodile either, so guess who I want? I want Chikorita. I do want Chikorita. I agree, it is a great Pokemon. And I personally don't like nicknaming my Pokemon unless I have a really good nickname, and I don't, so Chikorita goes without. This Pokemon lives near Cherry Grove, the next city. It's almost a direct route to there. If your Pokemon gets hurt, you should heal it with this machine. Here's my phone number, call me if something comes up. And we got Elm's phone number. Really, the only purpose for you calling him is to check your Pokedex later on, I think. No, that's Professor Oak, my bad. I received a potion. And a potion is a healing item that does the same thing as the thing in back, except it's only 20 health, and I can use it on the road. So, I guess our mom is perfectly fine with us leaving. Because... She said we could go do our errand for Professor Elm. And let's check out our Chikorita. Oh, we even got a female. That is awesome. That's just a personal preference of mine. Chikorita just feels like a female. Oh, good. She's got good special attack stat. Her best is obviously special defense. That's inherent in their species. Uh, all three starters come with a berry. Which, basically, once they drop into the yellow health, which is around half, they get an automatic 10 health regain. Um, it's a one-use item, and after that, it's gone. Uh, this is Route 29. Uh, there are a few Pokemon here. Currently, because I said it tonight, there are only these things, Hoot Hoot and Rattata. Hoot Hoot are normal and flying Pokemon. Um, they are probably the worst of the gener or the what am I saying? They are the worst of the regional birds. Um, Hoot Hoot is defensive and gets lots of status moves. Uh, learns a few psychic techniques, for example. It will learn hypnosis pretty soon, and I believe it also even it either gets Dream Meter or you can teach it Dream Meter. I don't know exactly which. Um, but it's not the best. So use it if you want, but there are other options. Um, as you walk through this route, you can't catch Pokemon, obviously, because you don't have Pokeballs. So instead, a good idea is just to beat everything. And if you get low on health, you got that berry as insurance, and you have that potion. And we'll find another one of both of those pretty soon along this route. So don't worry too much. Plus, as you can see, Chikorita got over half of her experience bar just for beating that one Hoot Hoot. Oh. See, the when it changes to the yellow status bar is around half. Even though we're at exactly half health now, it's still reading us as green health. And the berry's not activating. Probably as soon as we take one more damage, we will activate the berry. Alright, if you go up here, it's a little out of your way, but not too much. You can get that potion I was talking about. And we put the potion away. And now we got two, in case Chikorita gets hurt. And there's that Rattata. Rattata are normal types, um, they actually get some pretty good moves, uh, like Super Fang and Hyper Fang, and here's our berry activating, 
see we get 10 health back. Um, Rattata's got a pretty good attack stat. Most of its other stats are bad. I guess its speed's pretty good, too. Um, it evolved... Oh, I forgot to mention Hootoot and Rattata. They both evolve at level 20. And for those of you that don't know, evolving is when your Pokemon basically turns into a different Pokemon. It matures, essentially. And they are just attacking us all over the place, aren't they? More Rattata. Um, if you travel through here during the day, uh, you won't find Hoot Hoot, because they're an owl, and owls are nocturnal. But if you travel through here during the morning of the day, you will find Pidgey, uh, which is another normal flying Pokemon. Unlike Hoot Hoot, it has two full stages. And uh, Pidgeot's a pretty good Pokemon. Uh, it goes... At level 18, Pidgey evolves into Pidgeotto, and then at 36, into Pidgeot. And this is the berry we were ta I was talking about, or you can get another one. Uh, you might want to hang on to at least one of the berries you're going to get pretty soon. Oh, come on! Jump off the ledge into a battle. Um, anyway, uh, Pidgey is a better attacker than Hootoot, and I believe it has a better HP stat. And its defenses are lower, but that's not usually too important in a flying type. You'll also find Centret, which is the Johto counterpart of um, Rattata. However, Centret doesn't have any cool moves going for it. Uh, its evolution well, it evolves at level 15 into Furret. And... Once it evolves into Furret, it can learn a lot of hidden machines, which we will get later. And they're essentially field crossing moves. And Furret gets a lot of them. So if you get a Furret, and you can't catch them until very late in the game. So if you want to raise a Centret into a Furret and hang on to it as an HM slave, it's pretty cool. Alright, this guy's showing us around town. He showed us the Pokemon Center first. This is the Pokemart. They sell Pokeballs. And, cool, I want to catch Pokemon really bad. Route 30 is out this way. Didn't Professor Helms say that's where Pre Mr. Pokemon was? And trainers are battling there. Cool. Ha, he made a pun. This is the sea, as you can see. A really bad one. Uh, some Pokemon are found only in water. Yeah, you'll find that later. There are two methods of catching water Pokemon that we'll get into when we can actually do them. And what's noteworthy about this place? Oh, it's your house. No problem. Especially because I knew you were going to give me that if I followed you around. Uh, I did not check out the Pokegears, so now we will check it with the map. Uh, the first screen basically just has the date and the time. Uh, the second, which we just got, is a map. Right now it just showed us as Johto. Later on we can get more expansions for that. And I didn't even know it showed Silver Game until you went there. Okay, well, we've made it through Route 29, and we're in Cherry Grove City. Whoops. One more, and there's the phone. We've got two numbers. And I don't know why it shows reception there. Let me show that again. Because it doesn't matter... Okay, well, let's heal Chikorita up, and then I think we'll be just about done. And as she is healed, and let's all say thank you to Nurse Joy, because she's so nice to heal our Pokemon for free. And we will be done here. And here's Chikorita again. And she only needs five experience to go to level seven. That's cool. Uh, I'll see you guys. I'm going to get working on part two right now, so hopefully you get them both pretty close to each other. Uh, thank you for watching, and hope you check out more of this when it comes along, and check out BS Productions for the Let's Play of Pokemon Yellow. Uh, I'll see you later.